Mock Aerospace Limited is um, our forefront, our company. We're developing the Sonic Star aircraft, which is a very, very high supersonic uh, aircraft that has hybrid jet engine technology in it, which we've been working on for uh, almost seven years. We're now looking at uh, the capability to travel at Mach 4. It's roughly 2,500, 2,600 miles an hour. We're cruising at uh, 65,000 feet. We've spent time and we have understanding of relationships uh, with regulators like the, uh, the FAA, the United States, the ICAO, and, uh, the European Union, and we have a very broad understanding of, of what is necessary to uh, commercialize these technologies within Sonic Star. We're also uh, been working very diligently on a technology that we have um, considerable understanding in. It's based uh, in, in the field of plasma physics and high power electromagnetics. And what can be done with those, that kind of science in reducing drag and reducing the sound of aircraft as they travel overhead at very, very high speed. Essentially what we do is we project a ionized uh, atmospheric field in front of the aircraft. It creates a vacuum, an electromagnetic vacuum, if you will to which the aircraft can pass through. That vacuum it absorbs the pressure waves. Now pressure is shock, and shock is sonic boom. Regulatory-wise, um, what governs and what we're very focused on is you're talking about the sound of maybe a kite flying overhead. So we continue to grow um, our company and our progress with partnerships and industry, with uh, aeronautical testing services in, in the United States with a new company that we've uh, been recently very working with and got to know and that new announcement is, uh, is Numeca. Numeca Turbo Machinery International is a group of um, highly experienced individuals uh, that, have a, that have a company and a technology in design analysis in a space that we're very interested in we work in so that's in software and aerodynamics and fluid dynamics. They will be, uh, allow us to close the time gap from where we are today to first flight. So we're very excited about that. And just one last mention is um, our other partnering company um, in, the Washington, in the Washington area. They are uh, a group of plasma physicists that have been supporting our, our program and developing the technology uh, EDRT. And that's Eagle Harbor Technologies, and we're very excited about working with them. 20 passengers, uh, but our design point, our configuration, we can expand to up to 36, potentially 40 passengers in like a first class, first class configuration. We really are, many of us, you know, I mean, I kind of almost hate to say that the time is money business. There is a, a quite a fair demand for that globally. We've actually spent considerable time this year uh, on the s jet engine technology. We've increased the power of the engine and uh, created actually a new derivative, uh, which we uh, call h magjet The H stands for hypersonic. We are now traveling at hypersonic speeds versus just really supersonic. We're as much interested in flying out of Tiber or New Jersey as we are flying out of um, Abu Dhabi or Dubai or Aspen or Los Angeles. Uh, some of the enabling technologies that I've spoken of tonight, like the engine, like EDRT, uh, like the new, the new configuration, the new configuration of the wing, the front end of the engine, these technologies enable the Dell element to actually proceed more quickly, and in some cases a lower cost because there's cost structure that you can remove because of the enabling technologies. The launch date of Sonic Star is June 2021.